What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burley Fishing. Today, I want to introduce you to a little project I've been working on as well as open a nice little envelope of goodies that was sent to us by Debo's Fishing. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude sent me some baits. We're gonna see what he sent us here in just a minute, but I can tell you the anticipation is killing me. These are gonna be custom baits. The guy makes fantastic custom baits. I don't know if you checked out his custom baits, but go follow this guy. So Instagram, Debo's Fishing, YouTube, Debo's Fishing. But he just makes some fantastic looking custom paint jobs and he does them all on really good quality blanks. So I'm pumped to see what he sent us. But before we get to that, I'm gonna show you our little project. And before, before we get to that, if you guys are looking for more gear reviews, unboxing videos and fishing videos, we do it all here on the channel. So consider subscribing, smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see we post more content. And then come hang out with me and my buddy Paul as we talk to awesome people in the fishing industry tomorrow. We're gonna to be talking to the guys from Akuma Fishing. So if you wanna hear about them, you should definitely stay tuned. And that's every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So come hang out with us, talk to us live in chat. It's a lot of fun, love to see you there. All right, let's take a look at this project, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna give you a rough look at this thing, but check it out. So we took actually like this eight foot section of butcher block, goes all the way down there. Basically runs the entire width of my office. Um, but we're gonna finish this thing up this weekend. Still gotta sand it down. We're gonna do some urethane coating on that and then wax it up, polish it all nice. And then below this, we've got tons and tons of storage for everything we could ever dream of. And then below that, we have even more storage. Got like our little charging station built in back here, all sorts of stuff for the camera gear and everything. Oh, there it is. And then of course, up top, the fantastic horizontal rod rack I've been dreaming of my entire life. That thing is awesome. Cannot wait to use this all season this year. And look, so we got some, some Akuma stuff, a whole bunch of reels. I haven't even unboxed these for you guys yet because I haven't even had time. And this is like a 10th of it. I don't know, they're sending me a ton more. So lots and lots of cool rod and reel setups you guys are gonna get in a video later on. And then there's also gonna be a ton of fishing tackle to reveal to you guys as well. But you're gonna have to stay tuned. Look, there's some rods up there. Preview, a little preview. Check this one out. This is a swim bait rod. Oh, 7-Eleven, that's the biggest one on here. This thing will hold up to a 10 ounce swim bait. So swim bait fishing this year, it's gonna happen. All right, back to this unboxing. Okay, tour over. I'll give you a better tour once this stuff's all officially done, but it's unboxing time. Now this is a nice easy unboxing for us, I would say. There are, <laughs> it just goes, sharp got it <laughs> immediately stabs himself yeah we know we know how i roll oh oh my gosh dad oh my gosh i will say this there's gonna be some fancy baits in here that are built on a blank that i should i should know where this blank comes from but cut, just cut me some slack if i don't okay tell you what Refresh my memory, hit me up in the comments below and tell me where these blanks are from, all right? Because there's no instruction manual in here. There's a few I recognize right off the bat and a few I'm gonna guess at. And then if I'm wrong, or if I don't know, you guys tell me, this is where you come in. It's audience participation type video. It's edutaining. All right, let's do it. Here we go. If you guys didn't watch this, you missed out. But we had Debo's Fishing on one of our best live podcasts of all time. So go check it out, Burley Fishing Podcast, the Debo's Fishing episode. It was fantastic. The guy's a gent. He's just super fun to talk to. Uh, and we also did an unboxing together where I sent him a box, he sent me a box, he gave me crabs. It's tons of fun. You're gonna wanna watch that too. So go back and check those out. But again, as I mentioned, Debo's makes custom fishing lures. He's painting them custom. And we kind of joked around on the podcast. He was like, what kind of colors would you guys want on these? And we said, lots of purple and lots of green because one, we like the way they look. Two, we like the way they slam fishies. And I think you guys will like them too. We're definitely gonna be testing these out on the water. So let's start things off with a little medium diving crankbait. Check this baby out right here. This, oh God, the finish on this thing is fantastic. Look at just the shine coming off of that. Oof, that is solid, man. Looks like he's put on some really nice trebles on there too. Fantastic, he even capped them for us just so homeboy couldn't stab himself because you know that's what I do really well. Um, but look at this like green and blue pattern here. I love that, that like custom little webbing, a neural network if you will. 
That's fantastic. Little medium diver. Knows I like tinny rattles. Got a little tinny rattle to it. Uh, nice big green eyes on there too. Looks fantastic. Solid lip to it. Again, if you know the blank, hit me in the comments, but I'm loving that. Medium diving, lighter crankbait, you know, that's gonna hammer, especially on our rivers, which is the only place I can fish right now for the next, uh, probably two, three weeks. It's really warming up, so ice will be gone here real soon. Next up, we got <laughs> just a straight banger of a lipless. Check this lipless out. Solid flat head shape to it. Love the eyes he put on, just the green dead eyes to it. Uh, and it's, it's kind of a translucent, semi-translucent body here. It's silent, silent lipless. So just how the lure is moving through the water is what's hopefully gonna be drawing those strikes in, but this purple straight banger to the green on the bottom. Love the pattern that he's got on this thing too. Again, kind of a lighter lipless and it's silent, perfect spring kind of bait. I'm loving it. We got, here we go. Oh, I love this style. I actually have a few of these. If this isn't, nope, there it is. Yeah, so that's why it looks very familiar. See, I can pinpoint this one. This is very similar to, this is not Debo's. This is a, a bait lab crankbait though that I've had for a long time. And then there is the Debo pattern. <laughs> which paint job would you choose? I already know which one I would choose. <laughs> so check it out. Still rocking that purple and green, my friends. Really well done with the finish. Of course, again, I'm loving like this little leopard pattern. That's sweet. Check out the spotting on the bottom. Oh my goodness. And this type of crankbait, I, I really like this. They have this tapered lip, which gives it a more erratic but tight wobble. It's pretty crazy. Uh, looking at the action of this in the water, it looks really nice. Just the artwork, man. This is straight piece of art. I love it. I can't wait to fish it. I hope I catch some dang fish on it. I think we will. Oof, okay, here we go. So we got a little purple monster here. Same kind of body as that first medium diving crankbait that I showed. And look at the eyes on this one though. Just those big, mean looking like serpentine eyes to it. Love that. Love the cracked pattern going back here and the all purple. I mean, we're getting a lot of spring runoff and you know, river water is high. There's a lot of spring runoff. There's mud in the water. It's dirty. It's dark. And throwing colors like this just work really well for us. Um, again, liking this a little light, light tinny rattle to it and that medium diving lip. That thing is gonna do straight work. But then, but then, cause he knew we gotta have some top water fun as well. He hit us with the top water bait. So we've got a nice large top water popper here. And this like, what would you even call this? Like a peacock bass kind of color to it. Looks fantastic. We got the big bright red eyes to it, to the blues. A little fishy pattern there. The oranges and the reds on the bottom. I'm liking that a lot. I'm digging it. Big old scooped mouth. This looks like, is this a mega bass? This kind of looks like a mega bass popper. Uh, might be that mega bass blank that he built this on. Solid trebles again. He put solid trebles on all of these. So I mean, the guy is not undercutting the tackle, my friends. He's putting in work. Got your little line tie right here at the front. That thing is gonna bloop. It's gonna be blooping. One more look at it there. That looks pretty dang fire. I like it. To top it all off, this is this is like the straight banger of the bunch for me. He took a little river to sea whopper plopper. I think this is the 75. Like took the little mini whopper plopper, dude. And incredible hulkerized it. Are you kidding me? The greens, the purples, the big black eyes to it. This thing is... Dude, that is straight fantastic. I cannot even believe how good this looks. I love a good whopper plopper bite, and I, I, I don't know who doesn't. It's pretty phenomenal. Topwater bites are great in general, but getting them on the whopper plopper is just, for some reason, so much fun to me. So I know this thing is gonna straight bang. Look at that. He even outlined like the little fin on it. That just looks really nice. Ah, uh, it's so good. All right, so he sent us in total six lures here, which is rad, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, so we got our little, little medium, big boy, and loud boy, topwater popper right there. This question is actually for Debo's, and hopefully you're watching this video. Comment below what you named all these colors. I want, I want like the insert. 
I want your, your beautiful bearded face on there and a description of each of your baits <laughs> and how you name the colors. Uh, so we got the Whopper Plopper right there. Those two medium diving crankbaits, loving these colors. That blue and green and the purple. That purple and green lipless, are you kidding me? And then that super erratic, this thing, this might have like the best detail of the bunch. I'm really liking just the, just that right there. Oh my gosh, that's so good. But that's gonna have that crazy wobble action to it. All good stuff. So we got three crankbaits, topwater popper, and we got the whopper plopper, and then we got a lipless. We've got enough to do some damage on any pond or body of water near us. So I plan on doing that. I fully intend on going out and fishing ever so soon. Stay with us. We're going to be testing these baits out on the water and seeing if they can catch us some fish. All right, my friends. So there are some custom lures straight from Debo's Fishing. He was generous enough to send us those. So thank you so much, my friend. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I mean, this guy makes, like I said, amazing custom lures. You should definitely check them out if you haven't already. So that was a lot of fun for me. Hopefully it was a lot of fun for you. We've got a ton more unboxings coming your way. More importantly than that, it's springtime. So we got more fishing coming your way as well. And that also means that when we unbox these things, we can go test them out. If you guys watch the Debo's Fishing unboxing where I unboxed the box he sent me and he unboxed the one I sent him, we still have those boxes to put to the test on the water, right? I think it was unanimous. You guys liked his box. Come on, you guys. Uh, but I did too, it was pretty great. So we're gonna have to go put those to the test, maybe try a slam, kind of head-to-head -head challenge. I don't know, stay tuned, it should be a lot of fun. But that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you're having a great day. If you like the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more content. And then hopefully I see you on one of our future lives. Every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, me and my buddy Paul go live, talking to really cool people in the fishing industry. Hope to see you there. And I hope to see you on the next video. We'll see you out on the water.